when I talk about a family business, this is what I mean. Um, there's no nine to five, there's no normal days. It's Saturday, Freddie and me are on our way up to get some parts to keep some of our machines going. Um, and we're fitting all the family things in, in between. So, going to a skate park, aren't we? Yes. I'm getting parts, but these are the type of things that you have to do. You're always on the juggle, always making things happen. There's some work's going on in our office. Uh, we're redoing the floor, decorating, um, new furniture. We're gonna put a unit in over there, new coffee machine, um, spruce it up a little bit. Ready for the year ahead. Finally, we've got some decent weather. Yesterday was atrocious. I didn't manage to get many videos or any at all. Um, we're just battling, trying to get some jobs done. Uh, so, again, because we're closed, we're on tidying up our showground. This is a new van we've had delivered to Big Beaumont. This is going to be a special one for me this year, I think. Um, really, really like it. But, yeah, all the van's off. Um, pressure washing the showground, getting tidied up. Got that big layer landy hedge there. It's amazing uh, that what a difference this makes for a bit of screening, a windbreak. But you do get a bit of mess off it. Um, even if it's not the time of year when we're cutting the hedge, you get a bit of... Uh, they're not like leaves, are they? Just the ends of each tip that's grown. So, haven't done this bit yet. Washing all this up here. We started yesterday. Um, I concreted all of this when I did the showground. One, because it's better for standing the vans on. Two, um, I was trying to think ahead of how the lorries could unload. I don't know if you can see there, it's a bit higher on that side. So if the wagon was stood there, you had enough pitch on the trailer to, to drop the, the vans off. Because some of these big ones now, I don't know if you can see underneath that one from here. Probably not. It's got three axles. So the bigger the, bigger the home, uh, the more axles. You see the wheels? Can you zoom in? Um, the harder they are to move. Uh, another job I want to try and pick off this week, we're going to take these trees down a bit. Um, we've got a few lines of poplars in the park and they're amazing. They look unbelievable. They're normally the first ones to come out in springtime. But they've, uh, they grow so quick, they just become a bit weak. I think you can see a bit of sawdust on the floor there. We've lost a few. They took the top off that lamp over there. So we're going to try and cut them back. Uh, basically so the tree like consolidates its root structure and strengthens up a little bit otherwise they'll become more of a problem in the future so busy week um, like I say we've got showground to tidy up um, we've got some new vans coming in um, trees to come down tarmacking going on um, electrical works on two of the parks and then we've got to go to Glasgow. So yeah, plenty happening. I'll try and get as much as I, of this as I can on video. But look at that. Finally good weather, perfectly still. So this is our new little place, little touring park, um, Ancroft. It's a bit of a tip at the minute, but we've had a fair bit to do. Bit of the, just taking it back to basics. Uh, all of this work here next to the house was uh, water pipe, gas pipe, put some new electric cables in, ducting for the internet. But we had to yeah, get back to the fundamentals. The, the main stopcock on the water was letting water by, so you were never really getting a true water meter reading. So we had to take the pipe back to just after the meter and install all new. The house, I'm happy to say we've just got some planning permission for a little extension to pull it, pull this rear part down and redo it in the timber frame and extend it and fit out the inside. Um, sorry about that, my gimbal thing just had a mind of its own. 
fit out the inside, bring it up to the EPC standards. Uh, and then, yeah, all our lads are busy here at the minute. We've built or redone three static pitches that are already here. So they were just like hardcore bases. So doing the electrics, putting concrete pads, um, decking areas, done a little sleeper wall there, consolidate soil behind it. I think that's a fighter jet coming over. See that? Pressure wash the roof of this shed, tidy it all up, pressure wash all the concrete, just give it a new lease of life. Uh, we're going to get the three vans over here this week as well. Um, so I'll try and get that on video. Uh, if it's not too windy, I wouldn't mind following them with the drone as they're coming over on the lorry. These are the touring bases. We've redone the electrics, put some new meters in, uh, resurfaced them all. The um, toilet block, there's two of them. There's a timber built one over there, and this stone one. Just trying to tidy them up, refit them out. Not to our usual standard, but we've got that many jobs on at the minute. We're just trying to juggle what we need to. This was just like road planings on the road, so we've stripped it all down, redressed it all. But like I say, we're closed, and the focus date for all the parks is the 9th of February. We'll have a month to get everything done. Just got to keep pushing. Anything that we don't get done, we can pick up on afterwards. But there'll not be big stuff at all. Uh, little fiddly bits now, we've done all the big jobs. Van's back on the showground. Michael's supposed to be in the office, but he's been made to come and drive the forklift. I think he feels very uncomfortable. We've got to get it done. Wednesday morning, we'll have a look at that. Red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. I've had to stand at the office to video this, it's such a windy day and you won't be able to hear a thing I'm saying but there's one lad in the tree, three on the ground we've got a winch going just to make sure everything's safe this is when we need to get these jobs done when the park's closed, just the noise look at those, <laughs> those trees blowing around the wind takes professionals and the time scale is so much quicker as well like I was saying about those tall trees that the guys are on with um, we've got some elsewhere in the park and I had a problem with them I think it was in the first lockdown I had some freak wind from the north and it blew four or five of them over so I had to get some advice um, 
because they were just as tall as those other ones and yeah I was told to take them down because it would do them a lot of good and I was dubious about that because it takes so long to grow a mature tree scape something of that scale but I have to be honest I've been nothing but impressed with how the trees have come back um, obviously the shelter for this place to screen it off um, for planning reasons as well so I'm always a bit sensitive on it but the ones that we're cutting at the minute will hopefully look like this they will look like this so Thursday um, had a few change of plans um, a few of the staff have come down with a bit of a bug high temperatures uh, not feeling very well so I've had to juggle a few jobs um, the weather's been a bit of a hindrance. Yesterday the tree surgeons managed to get half of the work done and then they had to just call it off. Um, too windy, just got to play it safe. Dangerous job as well. I wouldn't like to do it. Uh, so they've went to Lucker, got some hedging and stuff to do down there. I've still got electricians working down there, uh, doing the last of the, the overhaul of the whole park. Our guys are just trying to get the park ready at home, pressure washing, everything, showground, bin stores, any of the vans that we've got delivered, we've got another one coming in today. Um, so because everything's kind of changed, sorry, and the tarmacking, that had to get called off, that's happening on Tuesday next week, solely because their job was stopped yesterday, because of the weather. Um, so I've decided to come up to Glasgow show a day early, just to see what the what the atmosphere is like, see what's going on, see a lot of friends, um, and then get back down either tomorrow night or Saturday morning. The guys are going to get the vans over to Ancroft. I've got three stacks going over there. I want to use a drone to follow them on the haulage. Uh, journey over there but I think it's going to be too windy um, I'll try and see if anyone can get some videos while I'm away but again just weather has been brutal it's been a tough winter and it's not been it's been a bit cold we've had some good frosts but I can manage frost you can work with it you know what what you're going to do how you're going to get on but the wet and the wind just brutal my guys have had a tough time um, and I'd say it taking its toll on them they're getting tired um, but we're nearly through it now so I'll try and get some videos of this show that you'll see it so I'm just with the guys from retreat we've just worked through an idea we've got a home coming Wendy what are we going to do for the video for our home we're going to do uh, GoPro time lapse right through the building of the factory yeah and then show the journey onwards up to park yeah and we'll and do the finished we'll article do the rest. spot on look forward to it check this thing out <laughs> don't think i could swim lengths in it but the old family yeah. size of that How cool is this thing? <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, as I said I'm at the show, uh, I'm joined by Gilbert from Maguire's Coffee Parks. Uh, I bumped into him yesterday and he, he pulled me on the fact that I've kind of started a YouTube channel and I mentioned that family run businesses should be thought of a little bit dif differently in our industry from the big corporations. Um, and it really got me thinking 
obviously Gilbert's a bit of competition for me. Frenemies, frenemies, frenemies. Yeah, frenemies. But yeah, like the, the point needs to be reaffirmed whether yeah. whether we're competition or not. It's it's uh, where we stand, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think the biggest thing is what we want to get out there is that these differences in the industry, there's different park operators, there's good, bad and differences in every walk of life and every industry that we work in. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest thing out there, there is family businesses out there that um, are operating at different levels, either individual parks or, you know, we start to buy multiple parks. I think the, di the biggest difference, I think, is always is the values behind it. So, yeah. like, for us, we're trying to get a bit more organised, um, start to grow a team, but fundamentally, it's our core values and your beliefs and it, that's the biggest thing. Whether you had one park or you've yeah. got four or five or whatever it is, it's the way you ran it in the beginning, yeah. you continue that you continue on. That. And that's where we're trying to stress that if you're a customer, do a bit of diligence, look into that sort of aspect of it because you're investing in the kind of us. Yeah, us. it is, isn't it? Us as people, how we run our businesses, what we do, and we've always wanted to be different yeah. to the bigger, the bigger groups and how they operate. And I think I think the biggest advice I give anyone when they come to buy a caravan is to buy it for myself, Jamie, or if they decide to go to a um, a larger group, is is they could have the nicest lodge, holiday home on the park, the beautiful view on the beautiful park. Um, but it's the people that operate the parks that matter because if they, they you get one end of the scale where if they don't enforce any rules, they're worse than a neighbour from hell. Yeah. If they enforce every rule, they're almost like a concentration camp. And yes. you've got to find the people that are running the park. They're the ones that you feel comfortable with. They're the ones that you're going to be seeing on a daily, weekly basis, on a weekend when you're up there with the kids and the family. And you've got to feel comfortable with them people as well as the surroundings. Um, and that's the most important thing, with whether you, wherever you buy it from, and make sure that the park and the offering is right for you. And I think the difference with us being family businesses, we're not backed by PE companies, and, and we too, so we're not needing to grow, we don't need to refinance in we five years time. We run our businesses, yeah by our accounts but we're not run by accounts. That's that's right. That's yeah. the top and bottom of the Despite world. what our FD says sometimes but yeah. We want to make profit <laughs> but we're not as uh, our for us our reputation that has took us so long to build yeah. is the most important thing. Well I, I, your name's everything I think and I think you take you can you can work all your life and you can do 100 things right, you can do one thing wrong and you can lose it. And yeah. our name is everything to us. Especially in this day and age yeah. when everything's digital reviews, everything else. Mm -hmm. We're under the microscope, so it's important, isn't it? Definitely is, yeah. I think it's, um, we just wanted to try and treat people how we want to be treated. And I think if we're being fair and right with people, it'll come back, and that's what we're going to try and do. But there's definitely that polarizing year, horror stories in the industry um, that that is there. And I think, but there is a difference there as well, and there is good park operators out there that are doing a good job, that I want to just do what honest days work for honest days living. And um, we'll, we're here, we're at the SEC now, thoroughly enjoying it, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit of a boys' holiday for us as well as with Maria. So, uh, and, and it's nice, it's great that we can, went a bit go-karting last night, didn't we? We won't talk about who won or lost. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See ya.